Started off as, as classic football shirts. We've got the story here. On I the was going to say, so could you tell us about the, the founders a little bit? Yeah, Matt and Doug were, were at university in Manchester. They, they just turned their love of football shirts that's mental. into actually something that's turned into a, a smaller warehouse, still uh -huh. pretty big next to City Stadium. Right. Even before, obviously, they got the branding and the new warehouse, it was. I was a fan because obviously I've always been into football shirts, yeah. so this was like kind of the place to go. It was quickly people started realising that mm. they had the best shirts, started actually speaking to different brands. AC Milan was a big one. Wow. Just their ideas and passion for football shirts Sick. meant that it's actually developed into something you probably couldn't even believe it, but wow. within like since 2006 till, is, now. till now, it's like. It's huge and... That's unbelievable, man. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video with myself, Hoxton. So today we are in Allgate and we are here at... Where are we? Classic football shirts. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Football shirts here in Allgate, and we're here to check out the store, which has been here for you were saying it's been here for two years now. Yeah, this location, two years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So look, they got tons of football T-shirts, and I can't wait to check out the store. So let's get straight into it. Ben, you are what? What is it that you do here? So I'm just one of the supervisors here. Okay. So yeah, just running the shop day to day. Like I say, I was a, I was a fan, a fan and a customer before I was working here. So oh really? Yeah, I think everyone who works here was obviously was a fan first. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've <laughs> you got to be. You've got to love it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a big part of it. So, yeah. and that's amazing because when the customers come in, obviously that transpires to the customers, like the passion of, it, of everything as well. You yeah, know? you can see yourself in everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously it's exciting. There's not much like there's nothing really like this. Yeah. In yeah, terms yeah. of supplying the classic for shirts in this sort of the way that we do it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are. The Probably the biggest in the country. Got right? the biggest, yeah. We have wow. the biggest. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah. Wow. yeah. But yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Get people from all over the world. So, it's not just a case of like. Speaking to people who are just into like UK clubs, like yeah, people from, from like Brazil, different teams. Yeah, yeah, that must Argentina. be really cool talking to the customers as well about uh, stuff like that. Yeah, you got to keep on top of it. Yeah, yeah, no, it <laughs> makes sense. It makes sense. So, look, can you show us around the store? Let yeah. us know the concept, how it works in here. So, best place to start, I reckon, um, is here. So, just obviously, just to show off what we've done. So, we've sponsored two teams. Uh, we've sponsored a few more, but I'd, we sponsored a few teams in the lower leagues, but oh, wow, okay. last season and then the end of this season and the coming season, wow. we've sponsored, we sponsored Burnley. Yeah. They got promoted to the Premier League. Wow. And then we sponsored Palmer, which is really exciting because Buffon, obviously legendary Buffon, plays for Palmer. But he wore our logo yeah, on the front yeah, of his yeah, top, yeah. which is huge. That's a big deal, man, to Massive. be sponsoring a t team. Okay, cool. Just goes to show how big you guys are. Yeah, so I've just that was huge for us because obviously exposure-wise, yeah, yeah, it means yeah, yeah. that everyone's seen us. Um, we're already a household name to a certain generation. Yeah, I can imagine. You can imagine, yeah, like it's, it's there's always someone else that you that obviously needs to know yep. about us, yep, basically. Yep. So next season, we've got Palmer's new shirt as well, which will be re being released soon as well. Okay. I was explaining before as well that obviously classic football shirts always, always is always concentrated on like sort of the classic stuff. Yes. 90s, 2000s, mm. but one of the most exciting things at the moment, which is new to the company, is mm. getting the new new season stuff in, oh, which okay. is by Munich. Right. It's a 23, 24 season. Yeah, exactly. So this is good because like you say, classics are classics for a reason because they're old, but these will be classics one day, so one day, people yeah, can yeah. obviously invest for the future. For the future. Um, yeah. yeah, and that's like really exciting because everyone just thinks the 90s shirts because the designs are quite sort of like that's what you see as a classic shirt. But even now, you notice it's shirts from like 2010, mm -hmm. 2011. Uh, which to me, I don't know why I didn't see that long ago, but yeah. it is, it's like over 10 years. And they're years becoming ago. like vintage almost. Yeah, they're classic like, shirts, wow. yeah. So it might be diff it might be the fact that something memorable has happened in them. Yeah, yeah, I am yeah, Robin yeah. scored a goal in that Bayern Munich yes, shirt. Right, okay, I'll or Messi you. won the Champions League in that shirt. Right, but right, right. the design doesn't change too much, but it's like sort of more about moments in the yeah, football, in yeah. football. Yeah, yeah, no, it makes sense. And you mentioned investments. Can football shirts be, can they be an investment? Oh, a huge investment. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely, yeah. So and young kids come in, obviously mums and dads come in and they're spending, the, they're buying the shirts yeah. for it. And then you're saying, well, the, the best thing, it's not a bad hobby to have because they just grow in value. They might right. dip a little bit, but yeah. then obviously, like you say, you sit on something for long enough yeah. and it'll become an investment. Yeah, yeah, so. to someone. No, yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. What are some of your favourite football shirts in the store? 
In the store, I'd say I absolutely love this. I love shirts that you never see usually. It doesn't okay. have to be a big team or anything, but to me, something that's so unique that, I mean, some might, people might say it's horrible, but I say it's just something you've never seen before. Oh, wow, look at the material <laughs> on that. It is different, isn't it's it? It's padded everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Michelin Man outfit, but... Wow. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's like, it's a, a that's a goalkeeper top. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's right. a Norwich goalkeeper top. Like the goalkeeper tops from the 90s, they were just giving them creative sort of license to go off and do whatever they wanted. And be a bit more standard. Yeah, right? one-off kit. They didn't but have yeah. to sort of worry about colours or anything. To me, we don't see that very often. We had a Newcastle goalkeeper kit in last week mm -hmm. and that was, the whole shirt was the, um, the background of Newcastle, but right. in red. Right. Something you never see. Like you probably wouldn't even wear it down the street, yeah. but it's like, it's just so unique that it's yeah, like. a bit different. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't yeah, 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 wicked, and also wicked. we've got, I think over here, we've got, it's, yeah, I'll show you this one as well. See, I love this one because this shirt is Crystal Palace, but the design is twinned with Bayern Munich. The player was quite famous, won the Serie A and Lombardo. He was a, a great player in Italy. But yeah, this shirt, using the same template as Bayern Munich in your Crystal Palace was pretty big back then. <laughs> Sick. Uh, how, how old I'm, is this one? This is from 19... 96 to 98. Wow, so that's proper retro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even remember that TDK as well. Yeah, and obviously yeah. you wouldn't normally see the design like that now, are they? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. quite like you can just tell it's from. It's from that era. Yeah. This Argentina one came in the other day, which is pretty special. This is from 1980 to 82. Right. Wow. So you can see this, the badges, like, they wow. weren't really, the designs weren't ever made from mass producing. Right. Stitched badge. Right. Like, obviously. So this would have just been for the players then? Yeah, and I don't know what was going on. Obviously, <laughs> the sizes of people back then, I don't think anyone was eating properly. That, that's a large. <laughs> How much would that have been originally, roughly, maybe when it would have come out? When it came out, because obviously in 1982, there wasn't a big sort of, this is why these shirts are so rare, because mm. it wasn't like, uh, it was mainly kids who bought football shirts. Right. So it it wasn't like a big thing. You wouldn't have got like your like average adult now. like going to games in football yeah. shirts. You wouldn't have really been more right. wearing it. It wasn't yeah. a trend Back for uh, an adult to have bought a shirt then. Yeah. It was quite rare. Right, right, right. So right, right. Um, for, for, uh, the price obviously would have been a lot lower. Obviously, yeah. they, they yeah, might yeah, have yeah, even yeah. been like, what, five pounds. Have you got any kids stuff as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I can take you over here to the kids section. But now and again, we do have something a bit more classic, but we have like this Bordeaux shirt. It's, it's been absolutely, so popular this year. I can imagine the kids stuff can be quite popular for you guys, obviously with the parents and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they I think a lot of people in. obviously expect it just to be um, something that like kids might collect, but mm. it's like you say, it's, it's for everyone really. But mm. where we get like say the new Arsenal, this is just exciting stuff, oh, like the cute. new <laughs> Arsenal stuff. <laughs> obviously the Palmer connection we were saying before. We've got this 1990 to 2000, oh, that's 1999 sick. to yeah, 2000. Like the ch old school champion as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is unique because champion, obviously, manufacturing sh football shirts was not That's really a thing. They used to manufacture no, basketball shirts, but right. um, but yeah. So it's quite everyone remembers this 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 shirt because obviously because of this because of the brand. Yeah. Yeah. So we get cool stuff in like that as well. Some kids are investing in bigger sizes because they know they want it to fit them in years to come. <laughs> okay. Which is a good. This is forward a planning. Clever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a smart kid. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Makes sense. So how many t-shirts do you think you guys have in your like warehouse? Like it just seems you got you guys have got an infinite supply of Yeah, I mean obviously the rough number the one that gets thrown around is up to a million shirts. So yeah, like yeah. Really? Yeah, something yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's crazy. Yeah. So this is one of my favorite shirts. You see I think it's pretty popular. I don't it's not like as if I've just discovered uh, something that no one knows about, but this, this oh, shirt is yeah, yeah, weird. I've seen that one. So it's there the Daily like a, Paper. Yeah, yeah, with Daily Paper. Yeah, sick. So they wore this against, I think it was Liverpool last year. Right. And you can just see, like, the whole, like, it's a collaboration. Sick, and yeah. The shirt, sometimes collaborations with football teams don't actually make it onto the pitch, but they actually mm. wore this a few times, which is really good. What, what are some of the rarest um, T-shirts that you have? The rarest ones we have in at the moment, I'd say stuff like, obviously we just got a big batch of these and these are really nice, the Brazil 94 shirts. One of my cousins bought one of those. Mm -hmm. He used, uh, it was about, about £89. Really? Yeah. This is, I mean, what year is it? this is 94. So you, the, the years that they wore this was 93 to 94. Right. The reason it's 93 to 94 is because Brazil won the World Cup in 1994 in America. Yeah. Right. And the, the rarest, the, the, the thing that makes it so rare and so unique is before 94, they don't, they've won three World Cups. Mm -hmm. In 1994, they won four. So mm -hmm. this, this shirt was officially won in the World Cup, but this shirt was made pre-World right. Cup. Right, right. So they only had won three World Cups before this. Right. After the tournament, they won four, and then right. obviously 
they got the fifth in 2002. You, you associate Brazil with like Nike, so yeah. it's the Umbro. Obviously, it looks a bit strange at yeah, first. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, some people. I do like it. I, I mean, I love Nike Brazil yeah. shirts. But and I love Umbro to be fair. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. And I, I, like I, it. I rather the shirts without the collars though. So that's why for me, when you go like 90s, yeah, everything's got a collar. <laughs> yeah, everything. But yeah. As soon as you go like 2000, yeah, the collars just gone. Right. Well, people have. That's what I like. Yeah, people have the favourite template, don't they? So people love the um, the Nike template from 2002, which is like the small tick and then collarless. Oh, that's what you like, yeah? yeah. I'm a big collar man. Right, right. I love a collar, <laughs> but um, that's because my team, uh, Manchester City, has there. But some of the best shirts that we've had has been with a collar, right. and it's what I grew up with. So it's obviously nostalgic reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of the shirts I get now, like I say, I get so many off the instant classics because. Mm -hmm. They come in and I think, I don't even think it was an investment, I just think there's some really good shirts being mm. designed at the moment, mm. which is good because it, it keeps you hopeful, because yes. obviously be a lot of people are sort of stuck in the past and go, these shirts are amazing. Yeah, and then now. And then that, it's never going to be the same, same again. again. But it is, there's yeah. some really good shirts. Like, don't get me wrong, there's some shirts you go, but there's a lot of them are like, there's a lot of shirts, like, I, like I'm, I, as even as a Manchester City fan, I think some of the Manchester United shirts are, are, are amazing the past mm. few seasons. Arsenal's kits at the moment are, are really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they are, there's really cool stuff coming out. Okay. Which obviously we hope to get in. If get we in. haven't already got it in, we'll probably get it in. What about Good. like training tops and stuff? The massive bit that we've, we've got, the Bayern Munich and Real Madrid, we haven't quite got the Arsenal current season shirt in yet, but we've got the training stuff. And you know Arsenal, like Arsenal just basically, they put as much effort into their training stuff as they do the shirts. They know it's a massive part of the club. Like Some of their training stuff, you could see it as being a, a match day like you could see it as being a shirt or home shirt so we've got some of that stuff in um and again like i've got so much stuff from here that's actually training stuff barcelona like you've got the into miami yeah. stuff on there it's cool to wear in it if you not just want to wear a shirt all the yes. time you can get like obviously some training stuff but i like the training stuff because it's not as popular as well mm. so Sometimes it's almost like an alternative kit. Yeah, like of course. You don't really see it as much. Say we have some just like like shirts that you wouldn't be able to get many places. Like we've got this one here, which is like a cool shirt. Like yeah. you won't see that many places. Yeah. What team's that? That's US Cita cool. de Pondera. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, so this shirt in general is really nice. It's $34.99, just a bit over that, but it's like the design's really good. It just yeah. gives everyone a chance to come in and get yeah, something. get something. So what are some of the most expensive uh, shirts that you have in uh, in stock, would you say? I mean, the Liverpool candy ones always go up there, but it depends which one it is. So we have... I like that, actually. How old is that one? That, so looks, that looks proper old. Yeah, that's 91 to 92. Wow. It almost gives like a, a bit of an oversized fit, innit? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, for real. They decided because obviously a lot of shirts go with the uh, seam up the, up yes. the sleeve separately, but this design so they didn't have to cut out the Adidas. That's actually quite nice, that one. How much is that one? So that is £175. Pounds. Right. And this is the series from Adidas Equipment. So yeah. they did like they, which is quite like a, like a department of Adidas. Like they, right. they decided to go into the football shirts. So how, old is, how old is this? So it's 91, 91 to 92, yeah. I think obviously big one would be always is this one, which is, I mean, everyone's seen it. If you've seen England in a tournament in the past few years, you've seen someone in it, which is the, obviously the, the 1990 one. England shirt. Right. With number 10, Lineker on the back. Right. Um, probably one of the most iconic, I think, in terms of Umbro and yeah. it summed up an era. I think that tournament was quite big to a lot of people and yeah. then obviously Lineker was, a, was one of the star players. Whenever the England are playing in the World Cup or the Euros, this, this shirt, obviously, people are queuing around the corner. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, it's a little bit quiet, yeah. but uh, yeah, that that's definitely one of the most popular shirts. This is obviously, I, I showed you the Norwich shirt before. Mm -hmm. This shirt in general is obviously quite plain, but it's just subtle details that make yeah. it different and people love it. Yeah, like the subtle prints in the background. Yeah. The arms as well, That's the it. umbro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even, obviously, even the label, man. World in Motion, which is a song by New Order, and John right. Barnes wrapped in it. I think okay. they were all wearing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think I remember there. that. And you've got some uh, sign shirt. We have over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, can, we, yeah. Can, we, can we see some of those? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Wicked, yeah. wicked, 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 wicked. So we've got 
shirts over here. So this is from a company called Icons who supply us basically. Mm -hmm. They organize the sign-ins, they yep. frame them and then we just display them in here because there's a market for it. Within football shirts and football shirt collecting, there's mm -hmm. different markets, people like Oh. Stickers, they like signed right, shirts. Right. Some people just like the classic shirts. Right, so there's different types of memorabilia. Match worn, yeah, saying. yeah, yeah. Memorabilia are all across it, yeah. So right. match worn's a big one. We have them on the website. So this is actually signed by the players? Yeah, actually signed by the players, yeah. Yeah, um, and you can see there's some legends there. Uh, my it, personal favourite is the Zidane, just I think. Think. I just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, I'm a sucker for a 90s shirt anyway. We had an Ansu Fati in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Ansu Fati, not at this moment in time, has not done anything. Like, he's not, he's not broken any records or won anything major at the moment. But he, his shirt was on here and people kind of thought, well, Ronaldo's going to stay that price or maybe even go up a little bit. But Ansu Fati might become like a world-class player. So right. people sometimes invest, obviously, to... Ah, OK. So they're speculating a little bit, like who was going to be popular later on down maybe, the road. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know whether Pulisic is one of them players, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Arsenal, Ian Wright? That is in the old shop. Wow, look at that. The owner's of uh, Matt and Doug, the owners of Classic Football Shirts. Mm. They organised Ian Wright to be get his collection back of, he had a um, like golden boot, right. certain shirts, and right. it got sold, he lost, he lost touch of it, and then they managed to get his whole collection back, and wow. they, uh, they gifted him with it again. Um, he's a video of it and everything. Oh, and in return, obviously, he, he signed a shirt for us. That's crazy. Um, which is great, and yeah, everyone, yeah, obviously, yeah. Ian Wright's everyone's favourite. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Can people come in and sit down and play yeah, yeah, yeah. games? So basically, we have retro gaming, basically. That's mad. Uh, PlayStation be competitions 2. in here or something. It is, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm from an era when I know what the PlayStation 2 looks like, yeah, but a lot yeah. of people come in and don't know how to turn how to it on. <laughs> they're, a bit con they're a bit confused by it. So yeah. <laughs> Mega yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you That's go. the Mega CD? Yeah. <laughs> so obviously I, I'm I'm aware of it, which obviously shows my age, yeah. but uh, some kids come in and honestly they think They're it's like, what yeah, is that? It was scared like, to touch it. <laughs> and then we've also got the bar here, we've got like different beers on to get people from all over the world, so they're on the feet all day. We are yeah. a tourist attraction. It's yeah. massive now. Yeah. Their kids have obviously they've gone. They've wrote a list before they've come here. Yes. What do I want to do? They want to come to yeah. They yeah. want to come in. It's part of like part of their day. Yeah, part of the trip out, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. And they come in there and they want to sit down and have a beer while they spend yeah. a bit of time in there. It's almost a little bit like a museum, almost, or like an exhibition. Yeah. It's so exactly you can come out and hang out, and then you might as well walk away with something if you see something you like, like some memorabilia or a t-shirt or something. That's what it is, yeah. yeah. I remember when I was coming to, when I was when I was younger, I used to come to London, and there was a shop on Carnaby Street, and it was like, it had football shirts, football mm. boots, and you remember it so well. And this is what I mean now, when people come in from other countries, yeah. they'll remember this, Memorable. like, yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll come back when they're older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People know about us, and but people get really excited about yeah. The shops are so good because yeah. people actually want to come see what it's about. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. No, it's amazing, man. The story is really, really cool. I'm really glad that we came down. Um, I think what we're going to do is probably have a look at a couple of football shirts before we make our yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, thank you so much. Very knowledgeable. And, yeah, uh, yeah. No, we've appreciated it. Cheers, Cheers. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers.